questions for me um, for today's Q&A. So, I have them here on my cell phone. Um, I'm just going to go through them and give you an answer. Okay. Um, so, the first question says, do you experience ASMR in real life? And yes, absolutely. Um, the first time I ever remember getting ASMR was when I was in second grade. Um, we were all in trouble in gym class for acting up, so the teacher made everyone just sit down on the floor, and he he was decorating some sort of poster that he had, um, like like lunch menu specials or something like that, and just us having to sit there watching him put the marker up and down on the paper. It was the, the craziest sensation, and that was the first time I ever got it, but I also get it um, a lot when I'm on the phone with somebody and they're looking for documents or um, they, they keep using filler words like, um, okay, while they're searching. And in my work, sometimes I have to be on the phone with people. So I get that kind of a lot. Um, the next question is, what is the favorite ASM artist that you like to watch? And the first one I ever saw is GB. Um, everyone knows GB. Everyone loves GB. She is my favorite. I really like how she does so many role plays and characters. Um, other than that, I like to watch Latte ASMR and I used to watch the Mellow Microphone. Who, he does like the best medical role plays, but he stopped doing them and changed the name just to Mellow. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> really like to watch based on the type of video rather than the actual ASM artist, um, although there are those couple that I always go back to. Uh, the next question says, what kind of triggers do you like? And I hate triggers without words. So, if it's not a role play, um, there's no storyline, or the person's not, not at least trying to have a conversation with me or tell me something, I cannot watch it. Like, um, I know people that love the videos, and I do want to make some of them because I know that I know that a lot of you guys like them, but like minutes of just scratching. It, I don't know, it's really weird to me. Um, but I really like it, like the pen or pencil sounds on paper. Like if someone's asking you questions and documenting your answer, I love that. Um, the haircut noises, like when they spray and when they, they cut scissors in your hair, I love that noise. Um, and, and when people are paying, like, special attention to you or to a particular task, that's, that's what really does it. Um, the next question says, what is the video that you're most proud of? And I did have to think about that because I hate my first video. Like, I hate it. I actually took it down, the, my first ASMR. It's super embarrassing and weird. Um, and I did put it back up because I realized, like, a lot of people search the, my first ASMR and, you know, it's, it's how I started. But... I didn't think I would do it, so I was proud of myself for that. 
um, but the video that I really feel proud about is the um, synthesizing an elixir video. Um, I love magic and I love role plays and I love video games and so I really feel like there's a big part of me in that um, but also I had to do, I did special effects by bringing in dry eyes and I did the green screen and I did like a wig and costume and makeup and stuff and um, that was my first time doing anything like that so I, I was really proud that it turned out well um, the next question says three people asked this in three different ways so they said what are your favorite video games? What are your favorite games? And are you more a PC gamer or console? And someone said, do you game at all? Um, so yes, I love video games. I grew up on them and I just, I like them a lot. Um, I am a PlayStation gamer. Um, I don't have my own computer yet. Uh, me and my husband share one, but if I'm being real with you, it's it's his computer, and it's my PlayStation, um, but most of the games that I like to play are RPGs or JRPGs, and they're one-player games, and they, <clears throat> they are really good. Um, PlayStation's really good at putting out the kind of games that I like. Um, let's see. And my favorite games, um, the ones that hold, like, a really special place in my heart are Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon. Um, they just, they feel, like, nostalgic, and I just feel like I have a special bond with those games. Um, but the ones that I've probably wasted most of my life playing are, um, Diablo 2. I, I played the third, but I really liked the second one. And the Atelier series. It's like really kind of Japanese anime, um, alchemy, which is why I made that video. Um, and, oh, and right now I'm currently playing two games. The Witcher 3, which is awesome. And Persona 5, which I just started playing three days ago, and I cannot stop. It is really, really cool. It's very Japanese, though. <laughs> and, um, so yeah. The next question says, have you ever traveled outside of the United States? And yes, I have. Um, not until last year. Last year was my first time, but in the spring, I went to Guatemala, and I went with some of my friends from school. Um, if you don't know, it's a country right underneath of Mexico, and uh, we went to San Lucas de Limon and Antigua, and it was breathtakingly beautiful. It was amazing. Uh, the people were so sweet, so nice, and the food. Oh, the food was so good. Um, so I really loved it, and I can speak Spanish some. I was actually the translator in our group. Um, I, sh I, I might have to do that one of these videos. I don't know. Would you like that? I don't know. And then um, later in the summer, I went to Jordan, and that is a country um, in between Syria, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Lebanon. Um, <laughs> why am I breathing like a crazy person? <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, 
husband is a Jordanian citizen, actually, and um, we went there for two weeks, and we went to the capital, Amman, and to um, Aqaba, and one of the seven wonders of the world is actually in Jordan, it's a tiny little country, and it's called Petra, um, and we went there, and it was very, very cool. It's just this giant gate, like, carved into the rocks, um, the lost city, and um, so that was cool. I am really, really hoping that I get to travel to Spain later this year, but it's not, it's not set in stone yet, but I'm, I'm really hoping. Okay. One day you can visit another country. What would it be? So, um, I have visited a couple, but if I could go to any country, I think I would either choose Argentina because they have um, the capital, Buenos Aires, which is supposed to be like the Europe of South America, and I love Europe and I love South America and I feel like that would be really cool. It's also the birthplace of the tango and um, I just really like like South American culture. Um, I'm actually about to be related um, by marriage from someone from someone from Argentina so we'll see. Maybe I will get a chance. Um, and then the other one is I would also love to go to Japan because everything that I consume, everything that I love is from Japan. Um, I love the look of like the hillsides and the cherry blossoms and everything and I feel like it would be really cool to see. Um, and Tokyo seems like just like mind-blowing so I would like to see it. Of course, I would, I would go anywhere, like that's, traveling is like my dream, so, let's see, how is the weather in the Midwest? Terrible. <laughs> it's really, really horrible here, uh, I mean, I, I love it, but the winters are deadly cold, like, bitter snow, ice all over the roads, like people crashing, and the summers are super hot and it's just sticky, so much moisture in the air, um, <laughs> and it rains a lot, and there's tornadoes, and, um, but it's, it's home, and you, you do get to experience everything, so, right now it's really sticky. Um, the next question says, do you watch football? And in quotes, soccer to you. <laughs> and if so, what's your team? So, I actually don't watch any sports. Um, the family, my family doesn't watch any sports, nobody that I grew up with, and none of my friends, and nobody ever watched it, so I just never got into it. Um, however, my husband is really, 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 really into football, um, or football, or soccer, or whatever, and we, um, I did follow the World Cup, um, last time, and if I picked a team, I feel like I, I have to go with the U.S., right? Like, that's my country, that's my team. So, um, what's the best and most crazy thing you have ever done? And I don't, I don't know, like, the best thing that I've ever done is definitely not the most crazy thing. Um, I guess the best thing would be getting married um, to somebody that I love, getting to travel to other countries and see other things. That's like oh, a dream. You, I just didn't think it was possible. Um, I don't, nobody in my family or friends have ever gone anywhere, so that's amazing. And starting this channel, yeah having you guys to come talk to and listen to me is really cool. So thank you for being here and making this like one of the best things I've ever done. And 
easy, I guess I would say. And it's not like crazy, crazy, but it's it's pretty cool, I think. Um, several years ago, I went to a like rock concert festival, and there were like multiple stages, and so one band would play on this stage, one band on that, one on that, and they would just the new ones would keep like rotating, and I don't know if you could guess, but compared to other people who are normally at rock concerts. I'm not that big. I can't push my way through the crowd. But I crowd surfed. Like, everyone would just, like, let you crowd surf. I could just walk up, poke someone on the shoulder, and point up because it was too loud to hear. And they would just lift you up off the ground, throw you on top of the crowd, and you'd just go, like, and waves all over the crowd. Um, I fell and landed on my head a couple times. Um, I kicked a few people in the head. And, um, but during the last band who played, it was a stained. They closed. Um, I crowd surfed all the way from the back to the very front row. It was super, super cool. So I got to listen to, like, the last four songs, um, right in the front row, and that was very, very, like, crazy and exciting. Okay. This one says, since I'm a big 80s fan, and that's, that's not me, um, but since they're a big 80s fan, do I like the band? Depeche Mode, and, um, I was not alive in the 80s, and my, um, my parents also didn't really listen to 80s music, and so I only, um, I only know the really big, really popular, famous songs from the 80s, and so, um, uh, Depeche Mode, they have a song, Enjoy the Silence. I think it might be their biggest song. And, like, whenever that comes on, I can't stop moving and singing in this, like, weird robotic tone. Um, I really enjoy that. So, uh, I'm not opposed, but I just haven't had that much experience. Um, someone asked if I like the Viking series, and... I have just never seen it, honestly. I think Vikings are cool. Um, you know, tough, big beards, and that's really awesome, but I've just never seen it. Um, if you're recommending it, I might check it out. Are you recommending it? I feel like you're recommending it. Um, I did start watching um, two shows that you guys recommended to me. I started watching Narcos and um, Band of Brothers, and they're both super good. Different, but super, super good. So thank you guys for those recommendations. If you think I should start watching Vikings, and it's accessible to me, I will check it out. Um, so just... If that was you, just let me know where I find it. Okay. And um, the next question is like a big long one. It says, what is your favorite movies and TV shows that you like to watch? And someone else said, what are your favorite TV shows and movies? Also, do you enjoy live theater? Um, for the theater, uh, where I live is not really, it's not really like a great cultural area, so there's not a lot of opportunities to see live theater. Um, when I was in college, I used to go and see the shows. I saw one flew over the cuckoo's nest that was done just beautifully, um, I just, I really remember that performance. It was really good. And I, I always 
always like that um, because I like to see people in person. Um, I like improv and acting and theater and I think that's all really cool so I would. It's just another one of those things that I haven't really been around um, for movies. This one is my fault. I'm sorry. Like, don't disown me, but I really don't watch very many movies um, unless someone invites me to go see a movie with them. I don't watch a movie ever. Um, I've probably, like, chosen to see maybe 10 movies on my own in my whole life. It's just not, I don't know why, it's just not something that I do. Um, but I really do like the, the Harry Potter series, um, which I read the books as well. I really liked the movie Hidden Figures that I went and saw with a friend. Um, I actually really do want to see that Christopher Robin movie because I love magic and Winnie the Pooh is so freaking cute. It looks so cute. Um, the show, uh, or the movie The Heat, my best friend took me to see because she said that um, Melissa McCarthy and <laughs> reminded her of her and Sandra Bullock reminded her of me and it, it like it was just our it's our friendship movie so we, we'll put that on when we get together and um, I do really enjoy like cheesy romantic comedy movies um, or just other light comedies um, suspense is good too but I do not like horror movies unless there's like a really good psychological thing going on. I don't, I just, I don't like zombies or to see people get cut up or anything like that. So the shows, I watch the crap out of television shows. Like I think I have a problem. Um, my favorite show ever is Game of Thrones. Half of my house is decorated in Game of Thrones. I just, it's really good and we get together. Um, people come over to my house for the, for the new episodes and we have potluck parties and it's a really good time. Um, but my favorite, like, shorter, lighter show, I love New Girl. It's kind of like an updated modern friends, which I also love, except it's just it's so additional. It's really funny. It's, uh, it's very funny. I love it. Um, I also like uh, Planet Earth, too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's a, a nature animal show. Um, but it's really, really, really beautiful, and it's a really good message, and it's so well done. And they made all these discoveries about animals, and like, if you like nature at all, I highly recommend that you watch it. It's on Netflix. It's called Planet Earth 2. And um, I also like The Fosters and other kind of family-oriented shows. Um, but anytime that I really just need to laugh, like, no matter what mood I'm in, I need to laugh. I watch Impractical Jokers because it's, it's improv and it's ridiculous and I just, I like it. And, um, we are now down to the final question. <laughs> and it says, what do you like on your pizza? And, um, I am not picky at all. Like, I, I will eat just about anything in this world. Um, but I really normally will order a pizza with grilled chicken and spinach and tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Did I say tomatoes? I mean, they're okay. I don't mind. But spinach and mushroom with extra marinara tomato sauce. Pizza sauce. And they're all different things. You get what I mean. <laughs> I like the extra sauce, and that's really good. Um, I usually let other people decide, but 
if they're being all like wishy-washy or whatever, I just like get that pizza. It's good. And um, I like pineapples, but it doesn't belong on pizza. If you eat pineapples on pizza, you are wrong. I'm, like I still love you. I, I, I do. Like I promise, I still love you. But like, if if you put pineapples on your pizza, that's you're wrong. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, those were the questions. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with me and again for supporting me and I do love you all and I do, um, as I'm sure you've realized, read every single comment and I respond to nearly every comment and I respond to your Instagram messages and I love doing this and I love talking to you guys and um, can I just tell you something though that I did realize that was really interesting like to me less than half of my viewers are from the US which is so cool I think I mean I love the US it's my home love you US viewers um, but this chunk is from the UK and I think that I get like 98% of my messages that I get are from the UK. So like, go you guys, you know? Um, anyway, it's, it's really cool um, to see a breakdown of all the different places that people watch from. And um, I love you guys. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good night.